he just aspired so much to be up on that stage and to be part of a group that he helped create and mold. For millionaire on tenor sax and vocals, Mr. Scott Thompson. Scott Thompson may not have been born in Bakersfield, but his spirit is rooted in its history. I didn't know how Scott's role in the Bakersfield music scene was. He was a veteran uh, of countless bands in Bakersfield. His family moving here in 1969, Scott has established himself as an unsung hero in the Bakersfield music scene. On June 3rd, at the age of 64, Scott passed away after a decades-long battle with Berger's disease, a disease that targets your kidneys. But Scott's family says anyone who met him would never know he was sick. Instead, they would only come to know his voice and his music. I feel like everyone loved him. Anytime I look at any Facebook posts or anything, there's just so many people saying such kind words. In 1985, Scott joined the local band, The News Brothers, made up of local TV news reporters and a couple of ringers. The band often gracing the Bakersfield community with sounds of soul, rock and roll, and blues music. They even opened for the Beach Boys in 1986 just one year after Scott joined. His love for music inspiring him to pay it forward. He wanted to create a path for people absolutely to make it. And he did as co-founder of local ska and reggae band Mentaburu. And it was just one of those things where Scott was a part of, he was just a part of the fabric of the Bakersfield music scene uh, on his own. He was friends with everybody. And so when we formed Mento Buru, I mean, he just became our mentor. The guru of Mento Buru. One of many of the unsung heroes of the Bakersfield music scene, a guy with a lot of heart. And uh, we, I owe him, I certainly owe him my music career. And a man made in Bakersfield. He was sustained by the doctors and his will and the love of his family. Well,